And it seemed like it, like this thing happened where on Sunday night somehow it got to be after we closed, people would just come and walk in with guitars and it got bigger and bigger. And with the music comes the musicians and with musicians, artists and with artists, poets and writers and these boots have served me well, climb this rocky hill above the bay of Vauban. My name is Karen Birch. I'm an artist. I work in a uh, medium called fiber art. I use hand embroidery, beadwork, and I also combine it with acrylic paint. For um, at one point, I started backpacking and I started to you know learn how to read topographical maps, and then that started showing up in my artwork that I'm looking down on and and looking at the geography of landscape. And there's but there's really a psychological component of the you know your personal vision of landscape inside your head that. I've been very influenced by, but you know, it's influenced by nature too. I'm an arts major myself, and I wondered when it became obvious that there was a lot of artists here, well, why did so many artsy types come to move here? And then I thought, okay, lots of nature, um, inexpensive housing compared to the surrounding areas, and I thought, okay, that makes sense. Starving artists, inexpensive living, lots of nature, sort of independent. And um, so it really is true that the hills were already filled with artists of all types that got to come out and, and meet each other. So we've had um, some art classes um, in here. We've had, like on Saturdays, uh, we've had knitting classes. Uh, we've had several people write novels from here. You know, the sense of community that is here, you know, people know each other. People, you know, go to meetings and get involved in activities and... Um, we've had some writing um, events, like write a novel in 30 days, where people participated in. We've had photography shows, we've had student shows, we've had, gosh, just about everything you could think of um, arts-wise. We've had um, live theater, theater in the round, uh, murder mystery, dinner theater here. It's just a lot of things over the years, yeah. I've lived here a long time, and having lived in cities before, I kind of love that kind of just, you know, the space to work and the quietness and the access to nature and not, you know, not having necessarily social involvement. But that's really been starting to happen in Brunswick. I, I come from, like, Montgomery County, and everything is so sterile and expensive and germ-free <laughs> and it might not appeal to a lot of people but I appreciate the the lack of cookie cutter people here everybody is different they're here for different reasons colorful people like you wouldn't believe 